about this? Is this is this uh, pencil? This, this, oh, it's uh, it's uh, dry brush applied powdered pigments, both black and white, that are then detailed with both black and white pencils. I use uh, Wolf's carbon pencils to pick out the black, and I use general white charcoal pencils to pick out the white. And uh, I tried to create a drawing that after you satisfied yourself looking at it at a normal viewing distance, your shoulder, that it would have a sort of cellular life as you went up close to the glass to see how it was done, that you would sort of see a whole other level of marks to it. Narasima 4? Yeah, uh, Narasima is a, an avatar of Vishnu, a Hindu deity. And uh, Narasima popped out of a column that was in the palace of this figure here sitting on his life. And uh, this is a, was a demon king that had total dominion over the world and was given invulnerability. And in a conversation with his son, uh, his son announced that he was a follower of Vishnu and wasn't really interested in the family business of being a demon king. And his father said, uh, Vishnu is everywhere, is that right? And he goes, that's right. And he said, then, Vishnu is in this column? And his son thought about it and said, well, yeah. So the demon king smoked the column, splitting it open, and out stepped Narasimha. And uh, Narasimha, uh, this was considered the head of a lion and the body of a man. And coincidentally, one of the things that gave invulnerability to the demon king was that he could not be killed either by man nor beast. And since Narasimha was another, he met the first criteria. He could not be killed uh, inside or outside. So, so is, this, Narasimha, is this Narasimha over here also? That's correct. That's what? That's correct. Oh, okay. And Narasimha picked the demon king up and carried him to the threshold. So they were neither inside nor outside. Thus the second condition. I read said that he festooned himself with the intestines of the demon king. Mm. Remember, David didn't just take him down with a slingshot. He did cut Goliath's head off. <laughs> That's right. Good one.